And welcome into another edition of Tech Talks presented by EGP Document Solutions. I'm Andy Demetra, thrilled to be joined this week by, well, you can call him an outfielder, a first base, a, a basement, a stolen base merchant, a pitcher for your Yellow Jacket baseball team. He is all of that and then some Cam Jones. Cam, thanks so much for joining us here on Tech Talks. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. All right. We know the job is not finished yet. You wrap up the regular season in Tallahassee versus Florida State then the tournament in Charlotte. But over the last month plus of the season, you guys have made a huge push to put yourself in position to get to the NCAA tournament, knowing that the job is still not quite done yet. What has it been about this team, Cam, where you guys were able to circle the wagons, play the way you have the last month plus, and get yourself here on the brink of potentially being in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's what every team says every year. It's all about getting hot at the right time. And I think we've done that really well. And, and we're kind of just running with the momentum that we have right now. And I knew from the start we were a really talented team. And we've really kind of slowly throughout the season just kind of put it together. And I think we've we've really come together fully as a team with with pitchers, hitters and everything. And we're really starting to clash at the right time. This week, you were named a semifinalist for the John Olerud Two-Way Player of the Year Award. Really, for you, it should be a three-way player of the year because on top of being Georgia Tech's Saturday starter, on top of having an above 300 record uh, average at the plate, you're also third in the ACC in stolen bases. So you do truly do it all. Uh, how are you holding up physically at this point in the season? That is a pretty heavy workload. Yeah, so physically this season, uh, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. This is definitely the best I've felt this deep into a season. And a lot of that uh, credit goes to Steve Tambor, our, our strength coach. And I've talked to him a lot about, you know, diets and uh, just strength, strength lifting, which days are best to lift, you know, what workload should I be working at? And uh, just how can I peak at the end of the season rather than the middle or the beginning of the season? So we, we've been talking about it for a while. And uh, he's been really hands on with me and, you know, he's, he's given me a lot of attention and I'm, I'm really grateful for it, honestly. And uh, we, we've kind of just been doing a, a little different thing for me than, than everybody else, obviously, because my workload's a little more throughout the week. So uh, it, it's been really good. You know, I, I feel really good right now. This is probably the best I've felt all year, honestly. So uh, I think I think I'm in a good spot physically and mentally. So. Well, when you're on the mound, you haven't made a lot of hitters feel good. When you're at the plate, you haven't made a lot of pitchers feel good. But at least it's good that you're physically holding up well. As we talk with Cam Jones here on Tech Talks, Houston County, Georgia, has been really good to Georgia Tech this year. Not only yourself, but your center fielder, Drew Burris. I do have to know, when was the first time, Cam, that you heard about this other young kid coming up in Houston County by the name of Burris? Yeah, so that's a funny story. So I actually uh, played travel ball for his dad. His dad was my coach for several years, probably five or six years mm -hmm. growing up. And uh, it, it's really funny because Drew used to be our bat boy. And uh, I was probably 15, 16, 17 years old. And there was always just this little, you know, 11, 12-year-old kid running around the dugout with his hair going all over the place and, and everything. And he's just all in on baseball. And I do think – I think there was one game where we actually had seven or eight guys, and uh, I think somebody was running late or something. And you better believe he was ready to play, you know, four age groups up, five age groups up or whatever it was. But I do think the uh, the person that was late ended up showing up, and uh, it, it was Drew Burris. And, you know, he kind of just made it evident from the beginning that he was all in on baseball. And you can tell now it's it's paying off. They're, they're a baseball family. Uh, Houston County is a baseball town. We've always been really talented, you know, with Little League, high school baseball, everything. So, yeah, I, I've known Drew pretty much my whole life, and his family and my family are pretty good friends. And, yeah, you know, Houston County is really a baseball capital, and I guess it's kind of kind of showing it now. So, Yep, now the rest of college baseball has gotten to know who Drew Burris is. You had played at McNeese Baseball Park before, Cam, but as a member of Georgia State. To go through an entire season – at McNeese Baseball Park at Russ Chandler Stadium. What has that been like for you and the support you and your teammates have received from Georgia Tech fans all spring long? Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty unreal. You know, my my first month here, my first, first really two months here was kind of overwhelming just practicing at the field. You know, I show up every day to, to one of the nicest facilities in all of college baseball, and it's just – 
it really was overwhelming. It felt like I was playing professional baseball there for a little bit. But, you know, I, I, I kind of had to come back down to earth and, and I eventually got got settled in more. And uh, then, then throughout the season, the fans are unbelievable. You know, every game we have a really good crowd. You know, they're, they're super into it. It's it's just a really, really good, you know, vibe to have while you're out there playing and, and support from the crowd to to get us going and, you know, start rallies and stuff like that. It's It's unbelievable. All right. As we said at the beginning, Cam, the job is not finished yet, but I know that has been the goal since you first gathered for the first fall practice to get to the NCAA tournament. You have never played in an NCAA regional, as have a lot of your fellow grad transfers and teammates. What would it mean to finish off this regular season, finish off the ACC tournament here? Georgia Tech's name called on Memorial Day and check off that box for you and your teammates to be playing for a chance to go to Omaha. Yeah, no, it, it would mean the world. You know, a lot of me and my teammates, especially the older, you know, grad transfers, we all have pretty uh, decorated careers. And we, we've got a lot of, you know, accomplishments for ourselves, you know, batting average, home runs and all these things. But really this year, we we all kind of talked early. And it's just like, this is about the team, man. You know, we've we've all had really good seasons, really fun seasons. But not many of us have, have gotten that postseason feeling. And, you know, we've all just tried to come together and just sell out for this team and, and play our roles as good as we can. And I, I think we're all doing it right now. And, and whether your role is the big role or it's a small role, I think we're all doing it uh, pretty pretty happily right now because we're all playing well. So hopefully we can keep it going. And, yeah, that's the goal. Just get to the postseason and, you know, stay hot and whatever happens, happens. So. Sounds great. Semifinalist John Oliver, two-way player of the year award. Georgia Tech wrapping up the regular season this weekend at Florida State and then on to the ACC tournament in Charlotte. Cam Jones, thanks so much for joining us here on Tech Talks presented by EGP Document Solutions.